All right, guys. So we're going to do some plenum size testing today. Um, Francisco from uh, Edgun Leshy dot shop in Spain sent me uh, two additional plenums so that we can kind of test and see if there's any difference in foot per second. Um, so this right here is the short one. This is a 110 millimeters long from very top from very bottom to top. This is the manufacturer OFE one that came with the gun and this is 130 millimeters long. This is the larger one. This is 150 millimeters long. So the test we're gonna do today, this is the one we originally did a shot string on. I posted on Facebook a week or so ago. 30, 30 uh, count shot string. Uh, we we're averaging about 940 foot per second or so. So this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna make no changes to the gun at all whatsoever. Um, we're going to put the regulator in the small, fill the gun up to 300 bar, and then do a shot string until it falls off the reg. And then we are going to put the reg in the manufacturer OFE plenum. Same thing, do shots until it falls off the reg. So possibly depending on the shot count change, if there is any change for the small, medium and large, um, we may get 30 shots on this one, which I already know is a fact because we already did that these here may get less shots so i don't know we'll see we'll check it out and um see what happens all right so we're back um great test um actually got some pretty significant differences um i heard some things going on facebook that uh you know it's the plenum doesn't matter at all it's all in the valve uh the valve is amazing uh the valve does hold all of the adjustments and the tuning and stuff but um as you're gonna see here um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to refute. There is a pretty huge difference in valve length. So, um, the small valve, 110 millimeter, we got here 41 shots, four off the reg. The OFE, um, I'm sorry, uh, the small plenum, 110 millimeter length, 41 shots, four off the reg. The OFE plenum, 30 shots, four off the reg and the large plenum, 26 shots, four off the rig. So you can see there's a pretty uh, um, wide uh, variance between these. Help you guys kind of tune your guns down or up depending on what you need. Um, so just a couple of things, like I mentioned before, there was literally nothing done with the gun, nothing, no changes, no anything. We literally, I literally took the regulator, popped it out of the plenum, put it in the new plenum. That's the only change that was done. Um, also just so that we can keep a good baseline when we dump the tank, swap the reg, put it all back together, filled up the tank each time I allowed the tank to cool, make sure it was topped off to 300. That way each test was done at the same baseline. That way we get, um, a good baseline, uh, test across all, um, runs. So, um, I don't know. I, I'm going to be using the long one personally for myself, the large one. And uh, um, so I don't know. This is, uh, I like these tests. We're going to try to get some more tests out. If you guys have any comments, put them below, ask any questions. Um, if you would like to see more tests done that I haven't done yet, um, just put it down below in the comments and I'll see if I can get to it and see if I can get that happening for you guys, get some answers. I know this is still really fresh, really new on the market. Um, but I'll tell you, this is an amazing gun. Uh, I mean, I'm shooting literally almost stacking pellets, almost at 50 yards, quarter inch groups. Um, at 20 yards, I'm literally stacking pellets. So um, yeah, good test. Anyways, guys, like I said, put the comments below. Um, and as always, happy hunting, happy shooting.